Yep, I'm wearing the clothes, the hat. I love Motorhead. I really just love Lemmy, you know. He was such a cool guy. And he had stories about Hendrix and the Beatles in London and all the rest of the guys in London at the time. That was my favorite era in movie, uh, music. And uh, the best day I had in music ever was the first time I shot Motorhead where we talked to him. We did the sound check. I got to play Lemmy's bass at the sound check. I started playing Ace of Spades, and he grabbed the neck and said, no, he saw him with that one. And so I played the villa, and the drum tech, Vito DeVito, had played in the band with Kurt James. He knew my music. So did Mickey D. It was pretty cool. And, uh, well, let's take a, we'll do one song, okay? Just because I want to do it. Here's Lemmy and Motorhead, Phil Campbell and Mickey D at the Roseland Theater in Portland, Oregon. And U.S. Metal TV was there to catch the action. Hate Breed was opening up. And uh, when they met me, they knew who I was. That was kind of cool. They did not worth it. Then they found Tom Pig. Uh, Tom Roberts from Poison Idea was walking around outside with no shoes on. I said, Tom, come on in. Meet Lemmy. And I guess he already had met Lemmy. He actually turned me on to Motorhead. So he came back. He had no shoes. Bottle of Thunderbird. And I told the guys in tape, have you ever heard of Poison Idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Tom Pig. We know. And then they got down and did the Wayne's Rule. We're not worthy. <laughs> I wonder what happened to Hate Breed. Pretty nice guys, but uh, okay. Motorhead, here we go. Rock them out, baby! <laughs> yeah, I like people, was, I like the Beatles, you know, they were my big pet influence, yeah. and they wrote fucking songs. I mean, whoever was top of the heap at the moment they wrote that song, at least it was still a song that they all joined in, you know. Yeah. We're gonna kick your ass!